It's Shaleen. Welcome to Cross Stitch Sunday. So it is going on evening. I have been stitching all day. I had two friends over cross stitching with me for the day. Two sisters and I hadn't seen them in a few years. So they just left. So I thought I'd better do my video and Today I'm going to show you some of my finishes that I have done in the past couple years. Some of them I don't even remember who the designer is. But um, somebody had asked to see some of my finished pieces, so I thought I would do that today. So my first piece, this is my favorite one right now. and I, I either want to put it as a pillow or put it on the front of a black tote bag. This is a Hay Design, Hannah Lynn, and I forget her name. She is my favorite. I love her. I loved stitching on her, and um, she's just gorgeous. So, yeah, that's a Hayde. And this is a Mirabilia Halloween Fairy. And this is using, um, I think, some DMC and beads. I don't know if you can see some of the beads. So did that. And then they had what's called name trees, I think by M Designs. And so if I turn it sideways, you can see my name. So there's like the S and the H and the E, L, L, E, E, N. And um, my favorite color is purple. And then I have the over-dyed fabric, which is probably from Silk Weavers, because back then that's about all I ever bought it from. And I know who the designer, just Nan, it's a little butterfly. And then I have Spring by Shepherd's Bush with the ceramic buttons and over dyed threads. And then this is Spring by Lizzie Kate. And again, some DMC, mostly over dyeds. And a Halloween tree from one of the Just Cross Stitch ornament, Just Cross Stitch Halloween issues. And I don't remember who the designer is of this cattle lantern, which I absolutely love. And this is a Hade. And I don't remember the designer I'm drawing. I don't know if this one's a Jasmine Beckett Griffith. I, I don't remember. That was for a stitch lawn. And I'm doing that as a bookmark. I just haven't done it yet. And then this is another Lizzie Kate. Um, Lizzie Kate Sampler. Four season sampler. You can see that. And of course, done with a lot of over dyed threads. Um, it's a Halloween. Little, I think this was Little River Designs. And poof hat. I think it's Erica Michaels, I think, is the designer for this one. And my Santa Claus, which needs to be made into something. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a like a, a big ornament or a little pillow or something. I'm not sure yet. And then another Lizzie Kate Halloween one. It's spooky. You could have 
they came in separate patterns so you could have done each pattern separately or do it all like this and I still have to do oh the bottom is done I'm thinking I wanted to um, do a bell pull out of this one And then I have another haid. This one I'll probably frame sometime. But yeah, I enjoyed that. And another Santa. It's another Santa. These were all from the Just Cross Stitch Christmas Ornament Issues. And then I have, I believe this is a Mirabilia, or I think so. One of their free patterns, I believe. And another Santa. And then these are four little stocking ornaments. I'm not good at finishing, so I have a bin full of finishes. And sometime I'll probably send them out to someone to finish them for me when I have a little bit of money set aside to do that. Because otherwise they're just sitting. Oh, and I have a little Mill Hill. I love Mill Hill kits. I do a lot of Mill Hill ornaments. I have a little trick or treat. And I thought of getting a wooden box and putting that on the top of it. So that's not probably even a quarter of my finishes because I have so many Christmas ornaments to be sewn up. And I do sew a little bit, a little bit of ornaments, but for something nice like these stocking or these mittens, I want them to be sewn up like a mitten. And someone did I did the stockings and I believe someone sold them up for me. I don't remember where they are. They must be in my ornament bin. But um, I have a bin, just one of those big Rubbermaid bins, and it's full of my finishes. I have done a little bit of my own framing where you do the, um, the lacing method, but it takes such a long time, and I'm really bad at doing the corner pieces. So I thought I would like to watch another tutorial on how to do finishing for framing using the tape. They have a uh, tape that you can use that won't ruin the fabric. That's what I was told, that it won't ruin the fabric. So I would probably be willing to try that. I have bought so many frames. I have a ton of frames sitting in my house. And I have Hard, or wooden boxes full of my frames, different sizes, different shapes, different colored frames, that I'm sure everything I own, I would be able to get it done. It's just sitting down and framing. And so I think next year I'm going to have to make it um, a challenge that I have to frame one piece a month, just so I can get them framed and maybe stitch up an ornament once a month because I have a ton of Christmas ornaments and so I did stitch today with my friends I'm almost done so today I stitched this whole section here and last Sunday I stitched all of that and some of this some of it I think here but I did all this and um I'll be stitching for a few more hours today. So I'm hope I might be able to get this whole section finished today if I keep stitching. But that's what I worked on. And that's still the Mirabilia Winter Queen. So I hope you can see pictures of the finishes. And what else? I hope you all had a nice Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving Day was spent at my parents with my sister and her boyfriend, um, my husband, and my oldest son. 
and we had a good time. I was really good doing my, I'm doing that 30 day challenge. So I did not have potatoes, I did not have rolls, I did not have stuffing. And then we went to my in-laws yesterday, Saturday, and I was good there as well. I did not have a roll, I did not have um, potatoes or stuffing, so that's good. And a good cross-stitch friend of mine passed away Wednesday morning. Very sad. She'd been fighting cancer for the past two years. So um, I'm going to miss her. She lives down in South Carolina. I only get to see her once, usually once a year at Myrtle Beach. And um, she's going to be missed. So um, that's what went on this week. And right now, I've been watching a lot of the Hallmark Christmas movies. They've been really good. I haven't seen one yet I didn't like, which I don't think I ever have watched one I didn't like. And I'm also reading a whole bunch of Christmas romance books starting Black Friday, and I will keep reading them through, um, through December 31st. And then while waiting for my friends to show up, I noticed that my neighbor moved out and we have new neighbors moving in now. I didn't know they had sold the house. I didn't know it was up for sale. So they must have sold it to a friend or a family member, someone that they know because it was done privately. And um, I didn't know them that well. They were a lot younger than me. They're, you know, probably 20 to 30 years younger than me. And they have a little boy and I know they wanted to buy a bigger place, so. That was, we've got commotion going on today. So if you hear the dog barking, it's probably because she's seeing new neighbors out there. And that's about it that's been going on. I still have not bought any more cross-stitch supplies. I've been doing really good, and I don't plan on it next year either. And unless I run out of floss for a project. But once Mirabilia Winter Queen's done, then um, Marty Bell's... Um, that Christmas, Rocky Mountain Christmas will come out and the Hade Treasure Dragon stocking will come out and I will alternate between the two. Um, I'm hoping Rocky Mountain Christmas will be done next year. I don't believe the stocking will be done next year though. But, um, I'm hoping Rocky Mountain Christmas will be that's about it for that. Next Sunday I will be showing you my Christmas um, magnets, needle minders, and project bag and scissors and scissor fob that I will be using for the month of December. And I'm still keeping my little stitching frog by me. He keeps away the bad frogs and so far it has worked. I have him and I have this one here, little squeezy one, and they've been keeping away the bad frog. So, yeah, my one friend was stitching a Merry Christmas Christmas ornament while here, and out of last year's Just Cross Stitch Christmas Ornament magazine, and Jill was... Um, she finished a stocking she was stitching on, and she was getting ready to start something else. So um, they did pretty good here while stitching. We did a lot of chatting. <laughs> so, yeah, I was glad they could come over. I hadn't seen them in a few years. And, like I said, today will be, it's going on 5 p.m., so I will at least get in one Hallmark movie to watch while stitching and then Once Upon a Time is on tonight and I think there's another Christmas movie on at 9 o'clock on the Hallmark um, mystery movie channel. I believe that's the other channel that the movie's on. I might watch that. I'm not sure because with that ending at 11 that kind of pushes it with I get up at 5.30 a.m. so I may DVR that, because there's one out also at 8 o'clock the same time as Once Upon a Time, so I know I'm DVRing that, but I'll probably, 
I might end up DVRing them both just so I can sit and read. I haven't read it all today. So maybe at 9 o'clock before I go to bed I can get in an hour of reading. So that's it for me for today. Didn't have much to say. I didn't babysit this week except for um, like two hours on Tuesday. Amber had a dentist appointment. She had all week off from work. And then Wednesday, um, last Sunday, her best friend's husband passed away from colon cancer. And um, her best friend asked her to go with her to the funeral home. So, and they leave behind three little kids. Um, five-month-old, a three-year-old, and a six-year-old. So um, Amber asked if I'd watch the boys all day so she could go help her best friend. So I did have them. I brought them to he brought them here. We went to the grocery store first and got some food for them. And So we they were here for almost nine hours. And then I saw them again yesterday for Thanksgiving with the in-laws. They came to that. So... I miss them. <laughs> I didn't have them every day, so I'll see them again tomorrow. And that's about it here. So let me know what you've been stitching on and um, what you did for Thanksgiving if you had a good time. I'll talk to you later. Bye.